Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today as we read from the Bible, the themes of the poetic books, let us try to meditate on the history of Israel, the themes of the poetic books, as we try to understand the book, the keywords, and also the themes. As we will have the study, may the meditation of my heart and the words of my mouth be acceptable in thy sight. Yes, Lord Jesus Christ to guide us. Yes, as we read in Job, it says about the key word, that is the book of Job, talks about the sovereignty of our mighty God. Yes, Father, Abba, Father, yes. And the theme is God revealed himself in his majesty and power to Job. It became clear that the real issue was not Job's suffering caused by Job's sin, but Job's sovereignty. Yes, as we try to understand the book of Psalms, it speaks about the key word that is there is worship. The five books of Psalms span the centuries from Moses to the post period, covering the full range of human emotions and experiences suited as for the service as the temple hymnal they were set to music and focused on worship as we try to read the proverbs it is the book of proverbs speaks about the keyword which is wisdom the hokma as is this wisdom yes and the skill proverbs was designed to equip the reader in practical wisdom discernment discipline and discretion the development of skills in all the details of life are stressed so that the beauty and righteousness will replace foolishness and evil thoughts depending upon God. Yes, as we try to understand the Ecclesiastes, it is speaking about the keywords vanity. The preacher applied, the theme here is the preacher applied his great mind and resources to the quest for meaning and purpose in life. He found that wisdom, wealth, works, pleasure and power all led to futility and striving after win. The only source of ultimate meaning and fulfillment is God himself. And the Song of Solomon, which is having the key word as love and marriage, this speaks about the theme that is this beautiful song portrays the intimate love relationship between Solomon and his Shalomite bride. Yes, it magnifies the virtues of physical and emotional love in marriage. Now, on the principle of all this, let us understand the principle. What is the principle over here? It is to have a heart for God. Yes, and is to approach life from his perspective. Job, as we read in chapter 42, 1 verse 6. Yes, as we read in Job 42, verse 2. Beloved, it is speaking to us. You can do everything and none of your purpose can be withheld from you. As we read the life of Job, it speaks that God accepted him. As we read in Job 42, verse 9 and 42, verse 12 of Job is very beautiful. It says that the later part of Job was blessed double fold than the first part. Yes, indeed, isn't it a beautiful thing that God takes care of all her depressions, all her sorrows, all her troubles. And as we are approaching the new year, let us commit ourselves into the hands of the Lord. And also let us surrender ourselves in the hands of the Lord and he will take care of us. For the word is speaking to us, beloved, as it is speaking to you and to me from Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. Do not be afraid. Do not be frightened. Do not be terrified. Yes, for I will never leave you nor forsake you. Isn't that a mighty God we serve who is there with us every second? Everybody may leave us, yes, in this life. Maybe by due reason of sickness, of sorrow, or they may be on their deathbed or they may have left. Yes, but Jesus Christ will never leave you, beloved. Yes, wipe away your tears, my dear sister, my dear brother. Yes, my people, wipe away your tears, for the word is speaking to us from Revelation as we read in 7 verse 17. Yes, I will wipe away your tears, it says. I will be a shepherd 
and also I will lead you to the living waters. Jesus Christ is the living waters, beloved. As we read in John 4 verse 10, yes, he's the living God, the God of the living, not the dead. As we read in Luke chapter 20 verse 38, whatever your troubles are there, your problems are there, your cares are there, cast it, yes, on the cross. As the word says in 1 Peter 5, 7, cast your cares upon the Lord for he cares for you. Whatever your sorrows are there, whatever your sickness is there, put it on the cross. For with the wounds and the stripes that he suffered for us, he heals us. Isaiah 53 verse 5 is true, beloved. Yes, the blood of Yeshua the Messiah will heal you and me right now in the name of Yeshua Messiah. Yes, there is power in the name of Jesus. For every authority in heaven and earth belongs to him. As we read in Matthew 28 verse 18, Yes, and the evil spirits and demons shudder in the name of Yeshua Messiah. And he's loved us, beloved. Yes, he's loved us with everlasting love. As we read in Jeremiah 31, verse 3. Yes, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Yeshua Messiah, on the cross for us, that whosoever believeth should not perish, but have everlasting life. Yes, today we have the Bible. Yes, it is a gift of God. Read it, take it, and read it. The King James Version Bible. Get a copy of it from the bookshop or from your pastor and keep it with you. It is the armor of God which we have to wear. The armor of God as we read in Ephesians chapter 6, yes, verse 10. It speaks the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the shield of faith, the sword of the Old Testament, New Testament. Yes, the shield of faith, the sword of the Old Testament, New Testament, King James Version Bible, and the shoes or sandals of gospel of peace. Be ready, for the devil is prowling outside like a lion. And in the name of Yeshua Messiah, there is victory, as the victory rests with our God. As we read in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 47. Yes, as it says, the victory rests with the Lord, the battle is the Lord's. As we read in Proverbs 21, verse 13 and 31, there is no plan in sight. No knowledge, no wisdom that can succeed against the Lord. Yes, our loving Father is there with us every second. He is the maker of heaven and earth. As we read the mighty word from Psalm 121 verse 1, it says, I lift up my eyes to the hills, and from whence does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who is the maker of heaven and earth. Yes, beloved, everybody in this world has some or the other motives when we seek their help or when we also try to ask them for help. But here the word is saying, ask and you shall receive, as we read in Matthew 7 verse 8, for it will be given to everyone. Yes, the words are written over there. Read the Bible. It has the 40,000 checks are there in the Bible and it can be encashed by your own signature, not any authority signature, not any king or queen signature, but it requires your signature, beloved. Yes, and you will get it. The whatever your requests are there, you will get the answers. Just go to the Lord Jesus Christ. Go in prayers from the 24 hours, take out some time and respect our living God. Yes, for the word says, I love those who love me and those who seek me will find me. Those who seek me diligently, yes, will find me. Proverbs 8 verse 17 is true. And the word is saying further, yes, when we meditate on his word, we will have wealth and richness in our house. We need all of it, isn't it? Yes, who does not need prosperity? Yes, so let us ask and we will receive, beloved. Yes, try it and you will be happy in life. It does not require anything. It is freely received and we have to give it freely. Yes, for whoever asks will receive as read in Mark 11. Yes, verse 24. Yes, ask, beloved. Read the Bible. Jesus Christ will speak to you. As we approach the new year, let us thank the Lord for the last whole complete and this year, in this time, that he's kept us alive and he takes care of us. As the word says in Psalm 92, verse 2, yes, I thank the Lord for his faithfulness at night and his loving kindness in the morning. Yes, and there are angels surrounding us. As we read in Psalm 34, verse 7, it says, yes, the angel of the Lord encampeth around those that fear him and he also delivers them. Yes, beloved, it is true. Yes, and in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Yes, as we read in the name of Yeshua Messiah. Yes, it is true. As we read in Romans 8, verse 37. Yes, beloved, just try to read the Bible every day at least 15 minutes, for it is the roadmap of life and the book of life as we read in Revelation 19. And you will be blessed. You will be blessed abundantly as we read in Psalm 36, verse 8. As we also quote from Psalm chapter 1, verse 19, 
63, 73, 190. Proverbs chapter 2 verse 1 to 9 and Romans 12 verses 1 to 3. Yes, and also as we are growing in the Lord, we will be blessed every day, every moment, beloved. Yes, the poetic books record the struggles of men like Job, David, Solomon, Asaph and others to gain a divine perspective on their lives and circumstances. Yes, as they learn to set their minds on the person, powers and the performance of God, their wills and emotions came in alignment with this truth. True wisdom is seeing life from God's side and this is rooted in setting our minds, meditating on the things above. As we read in Colossians 3 verse 1 to 3, try dipping into the Psalms and Proverbs on a daily basis and prayerfully ponder what you read. Yes, when you read the word of God, the Bible, you will be finding that Jesus Christ is speaking to you. Yes, for your personal problems, personalized problems, you will get personalized answers. And also, you will get received and you will get blessings. Yes, and your prayers will be answered. Whatever your problem are there, whether it is sickness, you will be healed in the name of Yahweh Rafeka. Yes, whatever your problems are there, you will be provided with all the solutions and the answers as God will provide. He is a Yahweh Ire. Genesis 22 verse 14 and he is a banner as we read in Isaiah chapter 11 verse 10. Yes, he is a Yeshunisi. Yes, beloved. Yes, and he is a mighty God. He is a Emmanuel God with us and he will never leave us nor forsake us. What a mighty God we serve as we read in Joshua 1 9. Yes, and the word is saying to you and to me, beloved, in the coming new year, be strong and courageous. It says behave courageously as we read in 2 Chron Second Chronicles chapter 19 verse 11. Yes, so the word is speaking to us. It speaks as we sleep, it will keep us. As we are awake, it will speak to us. And as we roam, it will also guide us. Yes, the beautiful word as we read in Proverbs chapter 6 verse 22. Yes, beloved, take the time forcefully if you need to read the Bible and also pray every day. Let it go hand in hand. And when you look back, you will find that all your road of life, which was full of thorns and thistles and briars and also of rough rocks, has been made smooth and full of flowers as we grow in the Lord, as we pray and as we read the Bible. Yes, and he will give us wisdom. He will give us peace. He will give us joy. All these things we cannot buy, beloved. Yes, and also he will give us peace, shalom, for he is the Prince of Peace and he will bless us with abundance of joy. For the joy of the Lord is my strength, as we read in Nehemiah 8.10. And he will also give us peace and also all the blessings, for these are all the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Ask for the Holy Spirit and you will receive it. Yes, it is a spirit of truth which will help us to guide which will help us and guide us and help us to discern the right and the wrong. And also, yes, it will be a helper. Yes, as it has been given freely. Yes, let us receive and be happy in our life with all the blessings. Yes, and may Jesus Christ bless each of my brother, my sister in the coming new year. Yes, lead us, guide us and help us and counsel us further and Yes, as we read in Psalm 32 verse 8, yes, help us to grow in thee and to also get the blessings which says in Proverbs chapter 8 verse 21, bestowing wealth on all those whom he loves and making the treasuries full. Yes, what a mighty God we serve and those who fear him will prosper. Remember it, beloved, as we read in Proverbs chapter 28 verse 25. Yes, read one prop every day. And one psalm every day if it is possible. Yes. And also read the word and pray and be blessed. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. As the word says that I waited on the Lord. I looked to him. I waited and I. God answered my prayer. He will answer our prayers and bless us. Mika 7, 7. Hallelujah. May God bless all of us. As we read in Numbers chapter 6 verse 24. Do subscribe and like the channel, arise and shine. Yes, this is the channel and may Jesus Christ bless all of us. This is Arise and Shine, Alfred Rathod and family. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. May Jesus Christ bless all of us. Amen.